I'm going to go work on the new hay storage. You okay. excited mm-hmm. about being able to store like 500 plus bales of hay on the property? Yeah. All right. You find new soap, I'll find place to put hay. Well, I'm working with Jake because he wants a bar of soap. Oh, a fancy Jake bar? Mm-hmm. Nice. All right. I'm going. You guys have a good time. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, so let me explain what we're doing. We're building hay storage out of a 40-foot shipping container. So right here in our field, where you see those orange cones, we're gonna put in a crushed stone pad and have a 40-foot shipping container delivered. And then eventually, we're gonna put a deck on the top and a little overhang to park cars under it and things we don't use that often, but we can store nicely out of the elements. So let's get started. We're gonna move the dumpster. We're gonna dig out the earth to make it flat so the crushed stone can get delivered tomorrow. So round one's not bad. I only used the bucket, no backhoe. Cleared it out pretty good. Now we gotta get in with the backhoe, scrape it out, get some of the big rocks out. I don't wanna go down too far because I want my crushed stone to keep the, the uh, container a little bit off this edge of the driveway here. But on that edge, it's gonna be underground by about a foot, roughly. Foot, foot and a half because we're excavating the side. It's gonna look real nice, it is. So it's not going too bad. I had to stop in the middle to go breed goats. Um, But as of right now, we're doing pretty good. It's starting to get level a little more, and it'll be perfect for the container to fit right in. Now, one concern we do have is that our earth is shaped like this, and the doors are gonna open like that. We want the door to be able to swing pretty much past 90 a little bit. So we have to take some of the earth out so when the door swings open, it doesn't hit the ground and we can get it open enough be able to pull hay in and out.
That's it. That's where I'm stopping. So hopefully, we're good. Let's get in here. So right here where I'm standing should be pretty close to level with right here. So here, it's only like two, three inches below that cement. But back there, I had to dig down a lot to get down to it. So hopefully, once we fill this with crushed stone and level it out, we'll be ready to put our shipping container right here. I am a little concerned with this entrance for the truck to come in and dump the crushed stone. He may come in from the side and just dump it all in the middle and then I'll have to spread it left, right. But I'd rather him come in here from the end and dump and maybe even gate spread, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen. All right, it's the next morning and the stone is on the way. Yeah! Yep, time to go. It's like seven something in the morning. They just called me and woke me up, which I slept in. Hello, and, uh, and I got the littles with me. I got the pumpkin with me. Right there's the pumpkin. And uh, we're gonna go meet them at the gate and let them uh, come in to drop off the stone for the hay storage facility. Open. We got our mail. We're just gonna wait right here for them to show up. They're on the way. You ready for yeah. big dump trucks? Yeah. Yeah, you guys sound so excited. I'm very How about excited. you, pumpkin? Yeah. yeah. Huh? She's just looking for the she's dump looking, truck. She's looking for something. She's like, come on, guys, it's cold out here. What are we doing? It actually is kind of chilly. We're still not here. Definitely forgot my sweatshirt. This guy's got a big sweatshirt on. Look at him. He's got like a dress. I'm like yeah, but you got a little sweatshirt on, right? Like that almost didn't fit you. Yeah. We should go that way. Yeah, it's getting good. And I want hot chocolate. Oh, hot you chocolate. Oh my gosh. We're just waiting on stones and he wants hot chocolate. I know the rain's coming on me. The rain's on the way? Yeah? Yeah, it's coming on me. And yeah. I'm going okay. in the middle. You're coming up here? <laughs> no. Are you? No. Livy, you gonna come up here? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, you're here. Look at that. You went from the back seat to the front seat like magic. Yeah. Oh, you hear that? Huh? Which, which? Do you hear it? Which, I know what it? side it is. I hear um, something. I know what side it is. You hear it? Yeah. Do you hear it's it? this side. It's that side. It's that side. Yeah, up there. I see the big jump truck. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, yeah. Stella, it's definitely it. on the way. Stella, do you hear it? Yep. That's it? No, that's not it. I don't hear anything. False alarm. That was the little white truck from our neighbor. Yeah. It was a diesel, so it sounded like it. No, not it. It'll be here soon. Stella, let's go. Stella, come on. Shoot us both. Come on, Stella. I think I heard the truck. Come on, Stella. Stella, let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, Stella, you're making this a lot harder. Never mind. Go away. She's going. She's not coming with us. Bye, Stella. Bye, Stella. See you follow. Yep, here she comes. There's the truck. There it go. Stella, come here. Come on. Come on. Get in. Stella, in. Come on. Stella, come here. Oh, my God. That lead. All right, you got that? Okay. I'm gonna go talk to him and see where he, which way he wants to get it in here. All right, Quinn, are you recording your face or are you looking out front? Um, out front. Okay, then get out and aim towards the. Uh, just turn that way, bud, so he can, so they can see. Stella, come here. He doesn't want to drive across the grass. He'll sink in a little bit. That truck weighs too much. So he's going to turn it around and dump it all in that hole. 
All right, Quinny. Yeah. Two cameras going. We got the, the, yeah. the video for later camera and the live right now. So he's going to turn his truck around and dump it all right in that hole because he doesn't want to drive on the grass. He'll like wreck the lawn. We're going to have no choice when the container shows up. That guy has to drive on the grass. He's not going to be able to do what this guy's doing. Let's see if you could take Stella because she's being a pain. I don't want her getting squished like a bug. All right, that was like 10 tons of material. So based on our math converting from cubic material to weight material, that should be enough. Um, but we'll see, I had to pay for the water because there was a little rain this morning when they scooped it and you pay by weight and there's water in it. So you always wanna buy on a dry day, but I didn't wanna wait anymore. So we'll see later when we push it around. time it's time to move some dirt around the question is did I buy enough there's a lot there but I don't know
Not bad. I mean, a little short, but not too bad. I think it looks pretty good. I don't think it's uh, too bad. It's a nice little pad for the container to sit on. Build a little overhang that way for cars to park under. Put some flowers growing up, a deck on top. It's gonna be amazing. Next, next on the list is container delivery. And then we'll try to level the container. We'll actually try to use the tractor see if we could pick up a corner of the container. I don't know if it's gonna work. If not, we're gonna use a hijack to level it. But we also want it tipped that way just a tiny bit because we don't want the water going this way. Actually, we might tip it. I don't know. We might tip it one way. One way or the other, only like an inch difference so the rain pours off one side. That's the plan. Next time you guys see me, the container will be getting delivered. It's been about a, about a week since we ordered the container and we just found out it's on the way. she is but we got a bright yellow one wow that's a much smaller truck than i thought it was gonna be that thing 40 feet long wow it looks little all right oh, hang on he's good come on out it's here all right it's here he's right here he's good he's got a nice little trailer this is gonna be easy we'll go talk to him check it out liz is around there somewhere She's coming. How are you doing? Good. So yeah, you got it on a goose deck and everything. We know, we're definitely gonna make this work. So I'm gonna show you where it's going first, and then you can decide whether the back end or not. With a goose deck in that, I don't even think you're gonna need the back end. Yeah. I think we'll just leave it there for a minute. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's so big. What? We hear you say Quinn's name. Quinn's name. Yeah. Hey, yellow, just the color you wanted it. We're gonna have to figure out what MSE stands for. Yeah, M M S, -S E. Yeah, we should look that up. All right, that's where it's going, right there. We're gonna sit you guys down and just watch the action. I get to sign the life away. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> right sign here. print, and then I got another. Right. Let's take a look. How do we open this thing? Pull the handle, same time. Pull the handle, same time. Okay. Very nice. Look at that. And it's not even. I gotta, I gotta move more. Earth. That's fine. What? Oh, my goodness. Um. So how did we open that again? Both of them same. That's it's hard when you got a camera in your hand. All right, Quinn, Libby, go ahead. All right, I'm putting in. Oh, it seems like a common statement. Oh, Stella oh, likes it. What did it take you? Yeah. All right, close it. Make sure there's no light. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how to, uh, I left originally, so I've been here at 4.30, 35. Okay, no, there's my right. okay. stuff yeah. Yep.
One of them's gonna come out crying. I just don't know which one. No, Liz, it's okay. If you like it in space. No, she didn't like that. No, she didn't like it. Like I'm that's why my daughter doesn't want to get it. Yeah, I didn't see any. Um, no light? No light at all. Yeah. All right, this isn't gonna work. I mean, you have the camera. I can't see a thing. We're going to be able to fit a lot of hay in here. Quinn! Yeah? We're going to be able to fit a lot of hay in here. Yeah, this is going to like fit a 100 bales. Uh, more like 400 bales. Wow. Stella, you, you like it? You didn't like the shipping container. You're not going to like loved Suffield. Stella in there, didn't she? Well, I don't know. I was so She's disorientingly oh. dizzy from being in the pitch black. Nobody could see it felt like outer space. Eyes. This is to store hay, not for evil can evil to practice. Okay, that was it. Once and only. No more. No. No. Hold on, you're gonna have to do that again. I just started recording. Quinn, you wanna go on the rock? Okay. So that's it. The container has been delivered. The next step is to get it ready for hay, which is coming in the next week. Hit the buttons down below. Subscribe, follow. Our goal is to try to fit 400 bales, 350 to 400 bales of hay in this without the hay touching the walls. We It has four vents in it already, but there's one right there, right there. But we may have to add a couple more. Our plan is to add a couple more. So uh, we'll see you guys later. So are you excited we're going to be able to fit like 400 bales of hay on the property? Yeah, I'm more excited about how to change the color of our shipping container because uh, that thing is not a beauty queen. 